200,000 credits for the delivery of five Altarian disintegrating blasters. Those were the terms, Chubbs. Hold it, Zix. I don't see any blasters. Ah, uh, you think I'm just here for the Barbera Crater Golf Invitational? You want disintegrators? Check out these bad boys. Very clever. Now, my credits. First, let's see if they really disintegrate. Hmm. Ah! Yep, they disintegrate. Did I mention that the Altarians are lousy engineers? Get him! Nobody messes with Zix of the Black Blade. Zix of the... Back off! I'm allergic to shellfish anyway. Big Red, we were just finishing a friendly business transaction here and... We have to talk, now! Where's the experimental matter transmitter you promised me? Funny story about that. I had to give it to someone else to pay off an old debt. I don't want excuses, Six. I want that matter transmitter. Get it, or else! One macho nacho burrito. Hold the jalapenos. No jalapenos? Donnie, come on, toughen up. Explore the inner beast in you. Look at me, I always do. Trust me, go for the gusto, bro. A little spice never hurt anyone. Feeling a little hot under the collar? <laughs> Would you like a side order of butt whooping with your knuckle sandwich? <laughs> huh? This is Torben Six. I'm being held hostage by Thermidorian mobsters. Are those mobsters lobsters? They're demanding 20 million credits for my release. Don't give them what they want. Forget about me. Don't try to rescue me. Teenage turtle surfed in on a wave from the past It's like the future's a party that these brothers just crashed Don't know when they'll go home, how long the good times will last But just stick around and see these turtles go Fast Leonardo, Donatello Fast Raphael, Michelangelo I'm still kicking butt and playing video games Driving everyone nuts, the streets is really insane Get out of my way! It's so not yesterday It's the only way to play Guess we're here to stay Six's transmission to Moonbase Bishop. We should be there soon. I still don't get why we're bothering to rescue that skeevy slime ball. Yeah, I wouldn't trust him as far as I can throw him in zero gravity. How about keeping him from being lobster chow? Or how about if we rescue him? We'd be the ones to hand him over to the authorities personally. Well, when you put it that way. The scanners trace the lobsters here. Moonbase City, level 2B. And the scanners don't lie. Check that out. Hmm. Zix must be in there. We need a plan to take out those guards. No sweat, bro. Leave it to me. I'll be back at 10.30. Good night! <laughs> 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 ah, 
There you are. I was wondering when you'd get here. Care for some vintage fettuccine? Dude, we thought you were toast. What's with the distress call? I believe I told you specifically not to come. Huh? I mean, if I had called and told you to hop a shuttle to the moon, where would you be? Sitting in front of the TV hoping you fell in a crater. Exactly. And now, since you are here, feel free to express your deepest gratitudes. You guys have bailed me out in the past. I figured maybe I owe you one. What the shell are you talking about? I just saved your lives, amigos. See, I found out your cute little planet's about to be pulverized by a runaway meteor. See for yourself. No way. It's impossible. Any meteor big enough to destroy Earth would have been detected by the interstellar early warning systems. Not if it's made from dark matter. Nasty stuff, virtually invisible to normal spectral chromatic scans. If it's true, why didn't you warn everyone? That puppy's hidden in less than 24 hours. Not enough time for a full-scale evacuation, so why start a panic? Earth's history. End of story. Well, I've done my good deed for the century. I'm out of here. Hold it! Not so fast, Six. You can't just walk away from this. There has to be something we can do. Like, blow it up with a Gigundo bomb? Dark matter is harder than a trillium diamond. The biggest bomb on Earth would just polish the surface. What about a proton beam? Nope. A neutron disruptor? Uh-uh. A massive molecular maser? Guys, guys, reducing that super dense meteor to space dust could take months, and you've only got hours. Hmm. I mean, maybe a matter. No, that's crazy. Forget I even mentioned it. What? A matter what? A matter transmitter. And as a matter of fact, some big brains outside of Regal, um, unintentionally loaned me an experimental full spectrum matter transmitter that might be able to zap the meteor mess to an empty sector. Voila, no harm done. That's perfect! Where is it? There's just one teeny tiny hitch. I had to give it to someone to repay an old debt. I think you know him. His name is Boss Zuko. So you're saying an intergalactic gangster has the dark matter transmitter? You say gangster like it's a bad thing. Unfortunately, Zuko's not gonna give it back just because you ask nicely. We'll have to steal it. He's got the transmitter stashed in a smuggling outpost on Prometheus, a barren moon hidden inside Saturn's asteroid belt. We'll have to take your ship. Ours is only outfitted for an Earth-Moon run. No good. Mine was impounded after an unfortunate incident involving the Utram ambassador's wife. Was it my fault she was standing next to the sushi bar? But don't worry, I know where there's another ship that can get us there. Why do I get the feeling we're gonna regret this? Uh, that's Bishop's presidential shuttle. Good old Bish won't mind if we borrow it. We know Bish, too, and he does not like people messing with his stuff. Come on, with an entire galaxy to run, he won't even notice it's missing. make us outlaws? Don't sweat it. After you save the Earth, they'll give you a medal. Next stop, Saturn.
Whoa! Check it out! Coffee, tea, or some alien goop that tastes like hot toenail polish! No thanks. Something just doesn't feel right about this. I've done some calculations on the meteor and... This is you, dashing Captain speaking. We are approaching Prometheus. A nearly impenetrable stronghold. Fully self-contained with security designed by a mastermind. Namely, moi. So, how are we gonna get in there? I surreptitiously kept a copy of the blueprints as a souvenir. I'm sentimental that way. And we're headed to a nice, quiet, unguarded sector. Place, Torbsy? I guess you could call it a candy store of sorts. Yeah, what kind of candy is this? Just the latest in illegal arms, ice bombs, fusion rays. And neural scramblers. Zuko told me he didn't have any of these. <laughs> he is such a liar. It takes one to know one. What's this matter transmitter look like? Oh, about yay big, silver? It kind of looks like a big coffee pot. You mean like this doohickey? Exactly. Oh, we're gonna be rich. Hmm. Uh, with adulation when we save your world. Tarbin Six, I don't believe it. For once you came through as promised. As promised? You set us up, you dirty businessman? Yep, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Gives me a headache. Can't spell six without a double cross. <laughs> six. <laughs> <laughs> when you told me you were gonna hand over those turtles gift wrap to wipe out your debt, I thought it was just another one of your scams. You doubted me? I'm hurt. Of course, you could ease my pain with a couple of cases of ice bombs and neural scramblers. Hmm. <laughs> Always hustling. Since I'm in such a good mood, help yourself. A pleasure doing business, Zuko. And I hope this makes us square. Oh yeah, we're square, Zix. You paid up with interest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a few shellfuls of revenge to dish out. <laughs> Guys. I'm gonna kick your miserable keister from here to Uranus. Whoa, time out. Is this the thanks I get for saving your miserable lives? Is that what you call selling us out so you can kiss up to that Zuko creep? <laughs> um, which part of impenetrable stronghold didn't you get? Huh? We wanted in, you were the price of admission. Huh? I told Zuko I was selling you out so he'd lower his defenses. But now, I'm saving your shells. See how it works? Hmm. Yeah! Sort of. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I'll explain it again later, slowly. Now let's grab that transmitter and get out of here before Zuko's goons spot us. Stop him! Too late! Run! We had a deal, Six! You should have walked away while you were ahead! Get him! What 
are you waiting for? Spring thaw? It's ninja time! <laughs> <laughs> Out of time, let's move. Yes, again, your soup turtle. Wanna bet? Whoa, what a rush! The ride's not over yet. <laughs> hey, All right. right, and there's just one problem. The matter transmitter got fried during the escape. How bad is it? I don't know, but if I can't get it working, Earth is doomed. Well done? Can you fix it? Try rebooting it! Or using a hairpin! Where's he gonna get a hairpin? We haven't got any hair! We don't wear boots either, smarty pants! This is not helping. I need to work alone in peace and quiet. Do you think he can fix it in time? If anyone can do it, Donnie can. I hope. You sure you don't want to rethink this whole saving the Earth position? Just asking. Well! I was able to patch it up, but the remote transceiver still won't work, so we'll have to activate it manually. You mean someone actually has to be on the meteor to make it happen? I'll do it. What? Look, I'm no hero. But maybe in some small way, this will atone for all the rotten, underhanded, and contemptible things I've done in my life. A noble sentiment, but... It's a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done before. Or something like that. <laughs> huh? Stop! I'm choking up! Uh, get off! Gentlemen, it's been an honor. Judged him. He wasn't so bad after all. Oh, and one last thing. So long, chumps. Ah! Hey, that's not a meteor. It's his ship. I rigged the meteor set up to con you into helping me get this transmitter back. I couldn't have done it without you. That stinking slime ball! He did it to us again! Well, actually, not. Ah! The real transmitter's still on board, see? Mm, but how? I don't get it! Six's story was sketchy from the start, so I did some calculations. Dark matter is so dense, it should have bent light around it, but it didn't. So I gave Zix a fake transmitter. It was actually the shuttle's beverage dispenser in the transmitter's case. Way to go, Donnie! Man, I'd love to see the look on Zix's face when he finds out! What are you trying to pull here, Zix? 
It wasn't me. It was those rotten turtles. They must have switched it. Spare the excuses. I told you what would happen if I didn't get that transmitter. Be reasonable, Red. We can make a deal. How about a free crate of ice bombs? A neural disruptor? How about a fusion ray? It really does make excellent coffee. 